Hello, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotional. I'm Pastor David Shub at Trinity Lutheran Church in West Bend. Our scripture passage for this devotional is from the book of 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, the 5th verse. Examine yourselves to see whether you are living in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail to pass the test. Well, I got the idea for today's devotions from my own devotional reading in the little devotional book, Christ, our, Christ in Our Home. The writer of the devotional talked about, first of all, getting an invitation from a high school friend who used to be his doubles partner in their high school tennis team to play in a doubles tournament. The two of them decided, well, you know, a little practice, we'll be okay in playing in the tournament. In the first game, they got slaughtered by two younger guys, 6-0, 6-1, and they're pretty, they were pretty sure that those younger guys let them win one game. He went on to say, Paul is challenging us to be honest about our own lives. Are we practicing our faith? Are we ready for the moments that will come to us each and every day as God's people to shine with the light of Christ? What evidence is there that our faith affects our perspective or our behavior? Does the world realize that Christ is in us? Well, this week I want to help you take some time to examine yourself, as I am examining myself throughout this week, and to see how our faith is growing, or not, in these days. In the end, no one can do this except for each of us on our own. Here's a little story to get you to start to think about this. Satan the Great Deceiver was about to lecture to some of his young recruits on the fine art of deception. Before I begin, he said, I'd like to hear what you consider to be the best method of leading people away from God. I think the best method is to convince people that there is no God, said the youngest of the recruits. We call your method the frontal attack, Satan commented. It's been used for centuries without great success. Only a handful of people ever accept the true position of atheism. Perhaps we could convince people that there is no hell, a second recruit suggested. Satan sighed. That was very successful for a long period of time. Liberals liked that line of reasoning very much. Unfortunately, we promoted so much hatred and war that now people sense that they will have to account for all that evil they do. A small recruit ventured a suggestion. Rather than try to convince people that there is no God, we should plant the idea that God is so easygoing that there's no need in making an immediate decision. Ah, the great deceiver said grimly, you have stumbled on our second most effective temptation, procrastination. For centuries, it's been our best method with the young. Its only serious defect is that it is ineffective with older people. Then what is the best method for deception, the recruits all asked eagerly. Our best method works with those who go to church regularly as well as those who do not. We call it moderation. We convince people not to get too excited or fanatical about God. This way they convince themselves they are believers, though in truth there is no fire in the soul. Moderation works just about every time. Well, have you looked inside lately and examined where you really stand in relation to faith, or are you fooling yourself? Are you truly living as God calls you to live, or are you living out a safe faith? We're all tempted to live in moderation without much thought. But Socrates was right when he wrote, the unexamined life is not worth living. Christ is living in you, Paul says, challenging you, testing you. Are you ready? We're here together. I guess that's a start. Let us pray. Lord, help us every day to examine ourselves, test ourselves, challenge ourselves, so that we might be the people you are calling us to be. Amen. Well, may you have a wonderful day, and may you think about what it means to live as a child of God.